the word, that's what we're going to start today. This is the first Sunday in Lent. Now, Lent is a time when we give up something important to us, something we like. Why would we do that? Because we want to be drawn closer to God. We do that by fasting, maybe. We just don't eat certain meals. We take that time, and we just use that time in meditation and reflection, and we pray. Do you give up something during the season of Lent, the 40 days leading up to Easter? It's a time for us to grow. Last Sunday, what did we talk about? We said, hey, listen, what if the whole church came together and prayed and said, God, what do you want the Woodlawn United Methodist Church to do this year? Do you think God would answer that prayer? I do. I think He'll answer it. And what better time than during this season of Lent for all of us to get serious about our faith and just say, Lord, during this time, I want you to speak to me. Tell me what you want to tell me about my life. It's a time when you can get into a small group. We're going to see today how important small groups are. Small groups are where you learn and grow. If you just come hear me speak every week and that's all you do, it's not enough. And the Bible tells us that there are five things we need to do. We're going to talk about those things today. Now I wonder, don't say anything. You don't have to raise your hand or anything. But how many of us are giving up something for Lent? I started doing it several years ago. I used to give up sweets. But I don't get to eat sweets anymore. I don't really know what I should give up. We ask our daughter, Mary Catherine. Mary Catherine, she's 15. What are you going to give up for Lynn? You know what she said? Junk food. That's good. I mean, she really likes junk food. And that's a big deal for her to give that up. We ask our daughter, Elizabeth, who's a student up at Auburn. She's 20 years old. We said, Elizabeth, what are you giving up for Lynn? You know what she said? <laughs> Shopping. Yeah, she said, what are you and mom giving up for Lynn? I said, we're going to give up sending you money for shopping. 